Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So I'm going to show you how to get a high score in 2048. So as you can see here, I'm keeping the biggest number in the bottom corner. So I just let it go a little bit, but mostly it is in the bottom corner. It can be in any of the four corners, but as long as the biggest number is in the bottom, top, left, right, whatever corner, it doesn't matter. So I do let it slip but I get it back into the corner here. So this is what you do because you can line up all the other numbers and it easily flows into place. Obviously, if it comes out into the middle, you're a bit screwed and that's how you end up missing up. So as you can see, the 32s to 64s can line up really easily. And this is done because they're all lined up next to each other, which you couldn't do if you didn't keep them in the corner. Um, well you could do but it's just harder and it you'll probably lose quicker so here I'm keeping the numbers still in the bottom as you can see I've just cleared up a load of space so I can carry on and the twos turn into fours and eight sixteen thirty two sixty four one hundred and twenty eight two hundred and fifty six five hundred and twelve one thousand twenty four and two oh four eight uh, just carry on after that, but after you get 2048, it says congratulations, you've won. Would you like to play? Carry on playing. So as you can see, the number is back in the bottom corner. So in my opinion, keeping it in the bottom left or right corner is easier for me than keeping it in the top corners. But you can choose any corner that you'd like, as long as the biggest number is in that corner it's easier for you and you can just line all the up line up all the other numbers and then join them together to make a bigger number so you obviously don't want to fill up the whole of the board because otherwise that's how you lose so you want to try and keep the little as little numbers as possible on the screen so that you can have more of a chance to group together the numbers so you carry on grouping up the numbers, keeping it in the bottom corners or top corners, depending on what you prefer. And as you group them up, the board should become freer and freer. Um, you don't want to keep a massive amount of numbers on the board because it gets harder. Um, you end up being able not to move, which is not what you want because you want to group the numbers together. So you want fewer tiles on the board. So here I'm carrying on. So I keep, try to keep going in the same direction, as in left or right, or up and down. Normally I do left or right because it's, it's just easier for me. Um, I don't know why, but I keep in that same direction. You can go up and down if you want to. Um, obviously every so often you have to mix it up and use the other um, up or down or left or right. So if you're going left and right, sometimes you have to go up and down. Or if you're going up and down, sometimes you have to go left and right. But normally I stick in the left and right direction um, to help me group the numbers together. So here I do use up and down quite a bit because I want the biggest number to stay in that left hand corner. So I have used up and down to keep that in place because you don't know what number is going to get into that bottom left hand corner. So I've just slipped a little bit and the biggest number is no longer in the bottom corner um, which is why I've lost in a few minutes um, but all we can see here is that the numbers are still easily flowing into place because they're still in line so obviously once you get 128 out of the 64 and the 32 together when they're grouped then you can just join them together and then they should you should be able to make a 256 um from the 228s when you when you join it and another 256 in a bit and then just join them up and once you have that you can have 256 with 256 because they'll be in line join them together and then the 512 and the 1024 to make 2048 as soon as it leaves the bottom or top corner, whichever corner it's in, 
it gets harder so I'd keep it in that position as long as you can obviously you might not be able to at some point in the game but if you keep it in the corner for as long as you can that will put you in a better position later on see as you can see my score has gone up to 20,000 um, and we carry on sadly I do lose in a few minutes but I managed to get quite a high score so you just keep going here and as you can see my 2048 which is the biggest number I have on the board at the minute is no longer in the bottom left hand corner because I messed up but it's not too bad at the minute um, but as you can see now the 128s don't match up so I'm trying to make another 64 here so I can join the 128s up but it won't be the same to that or there at the minute there'll be a new 128 that I'll have to join up for it to work so I'm trying to do that now there I've made it um, the bottom one is a bit difficult it's in a difficult position because I have to make 128 again which I do have 260 balls on the board but I don't really want to move it too much so I'm trying to create a new uh, 64 to 128 which I've made 128 but I lost but thanks for watching peace out don't forget to like comment and subscribe